Ladies and gentlemen, the lone survivor and one of the founders of Booga Booga, Mr. Ed Kahea. Aloha. Isn't this wonderful, ladies and gentlemen? 2,000 people here ready to boss laugh. Give yourselves a hand this evening, babes. It's hysterical. It's hysterical. We're here to have freaking good fun. <laughs> I gotta do some Hawaiian stuff. Uh, I'm gonna give you a genealogy chant, kind of, because you know I was brought up that way. I went to Kamehameha schools. So I tell you who my family is, then you know who I am, then you know it's just not a product of Wayne Harada's imagination. My name is Edward Kalevihe Okalani Napua, Carmichael Kaahea. My mother is Enid Piikoi Kekauliki Harbottle. She is a direct lineage to the chiefs of Kauai, and that is one of the reasons why King Kamehameha never conquered Hawaii, because we are descendants from King Kaumuli'i. Hey! Mai kaino kawai, hemulele'i kamalia. I love you. Stand up, baby. Let's make love. <laughs> well, not right now. Okay, after it. <clears throat> And of course, King Kamehameha never conquered the Garden Island. He took a magnificent army up to Kauai, never conquered the separate kingdom. And do you know why, ladies and gentlemen, the history, the history books say that there was a tsunami, a storm. And the real reason, and I tell you because I am a P.E. Koi, is that King Kaumuli'i had a wonderful army of hula kani dancers. Hula dancers who stood on the shores of Kauai and just said, you freak, you come here and just stretch your freaking eyes. You freaking come here, come here. You dare just to cut it off, big nothing. You nothing. <laughs> I scratch your eyes. <clears throat> My father is of Tahitian descent. Hanale Tataatea Tapuari Ikaahea. He is a Kekela. Went to Kamehameha schools. Prominent man. He has a wing at Queen's Hospital named after our family. I'm proud of that particular wing at Queen's Hospital. It is the Kekela wing. Every 10 years we commemorate the memory of my daddy, Henry Hanale Kekela Kaahe. I'm asked to say a few words to the dignitaries, the medical staff, the patients. It's a privilege for me, ladies and gentlemen, because they built this wing at the Queen's Hospital for my family. <laughs> and when I step up to that podium, I look the people in the eyes and I talk to them explicitly about our mission. I'm a hero to those. People. We need to honey honey them. We need to teach them the healing powers of laughter. <clears throat> I live on Kauai, obviously. <laughs> I have a beautiful family. Married a nice holy girl. I lick her every Thursdays. 
This strikes is not done. Lick the rings. <clears throat> Jewish girl, New York, Brooklyn, Canarsie, gave me a beautiful, wonderful 10 year old son. Beautiful boy. Kalevihia Tahanu, Alpert Kaahia. Bright, bright little boy. On a roll, plays soccer. Hey, Dad, let's talk about it. Hmm? <clears throat> Bright, smart. He wants to make a lot of money, ladies and gentlemen, but unfortunately, he falls asleep a lot. Hey, Dad, let's talk. <clears throat> Kauai is a beautiful place to live. We got some problems over there. Manini. Our crime rate is kind of a little bit on a rise. I have a wonderful uh, chief of police. I believe the only Portuguese chief of police in the state, I may be wrong. <clears throat> the only chief of police in the state of Portuguese ancestry that hasn't been indicted. <laughs> He's been having a hot time. Been having a hard time of, you know, crime wave. Some people in the police force wanted to get rid of him. You know, bad statewide press. So a couple of months ago, he, he instituted a comeback, you know, to reestablish his credibility. And he did a real Kauai thing. We're the only county in the state of Hawaii. We have DUI roadblocks at 4.30 in the afternoon. <laughs> and when they asked, Chief Freitas, why do you have 4.30 afternoon DUI roadblocks? This is what he said, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to catch the drunks before they go to the bar. <laughs> Poor thing, <huh>, him. <laughs> we have a very active Hawaiian nationalist activist, Mini Bililani and Haunani Traskis. This land is my land. You owe me. Okay, all right. Ever, that, ever got the idea of just working? <laughs> Getting a job? <laughs> Can I eat the new food stamps or only like credit card? Hard, huh? Anthony Kealoa, he leads our local delegation of Hawaiian nationalists. <clears throat> Smart kid, got a GED. <clears throat> Worked hard on it when he got out of prison. Worked hard on it. <clears throat> Activist, comes up to me, he goes, you know, Uncle Ed, you know, when I get the country, or you and Bumpy, you know, when I get the country, Our exports are going to have body fender, surfboard, pakalolo, and hula dancers. I tell them, what about security? What about the Hawaiian army? He says, oh, brother, we didn't need Hawaiian army. Just go get my friends. All they need is plate lunch, Olympia beer. We're going to save millions of dollars, Uncle Ed. We're going to take that money. Every Mokupuni or Hawaii, every island in Hawaii, we're going to build one bridge. <laughs> Next time Hawaiian Air and Aloha Airlines talk about merging, we just tell them, hey, we don't care, we're going to walk. <laughs> How's that for some smart Hawaiians? Huh? Give them a hand, come on!
I live in Wailua, my grand auntie who is from Ponara, French Polynesia. Wonderful lady, Rachel Papuari'i Clemson, what a name, Tahitian, right? Once every two years when I get a gig like this, I can buy the, you know, U UTA at Tahitian Airlines, everything is expensive down there, but I try to bring her up to Hawaii. She likes to come to the United States, and this is really the only part of the United States that she can come to, you know, Hawaii. Bring her up, take her down to my daughter, my daughter's house is in a place called Kealia on Kauai. Right next to my daughter's house on the beach is a nudist colony. It's called Kauai, Donkey Beach. I <laughs> nudist, you know, the whole thing like that. And you know, nudists, they're very, they're very focused on what they do as nudists. You know, they take walking around with the alalas hanging out. <laughs> Freaking seriously. <laughs> Look my stomach, bro. I get pouch. <laughs> and they want to always have an even tan on their body. They want that even tan. So this Makuli Halikani, Mahu, I think, I don't know, digs a hole, puts himself in the hole, covers his whole body except his ala alas. Sticks a straw in his mouth and tans his, you know, genitalia. <laughs> There's my daughter, 32 years old, my grand aunt from Tahiti, 75 years old. They're walking along the beach. <laughs> they come up to brother. Brother gets excited. I don't know why. <laughs> brother comes to attention. My grand aunt looks at that, looks at Noel Kamali Poor and says, Noel, you know, when Tutu was 25 years old, I had my first one. When I was 35, I couldn't get enough. When I was 45, I had to pay for it. Gun funny. it. Now that I'm 75 years old, I'm growing the goddamn things in the sand. <laughs> You're going to have a wonderful evening this evening, ladies and gentlemen. Basla, I met Carl here. Good night. And now you can catch him on Island Rhythms 98.5 Waking you up in the mornings He's also the king of junk and pool Ladies and gentlemen Put your hands together for your host for the evening Lanai Oh yeah What's up local people I'm so glad there's, you know, I can tell there's local people here tonight because I was in the bathroom, right? Right before, 10 minutes ago, I was getting nervous and I had to make doo-doo. I go in the first stall and somebody's sitting in there. So I go to the second one, somebody's sitting in there. So I go in the third one, I sit down, I'm doing my thing, and I hear this voice coming from the next stall. Bruh, how are you? Felt a little uncomfortable, but I said, I'm good, how are you? A couple seconds goes by, he goes, so what, what you gonna do after this? I said, oh, I'm probably just gonna go up to my room and sleep. And then I hear this long pause and then I hear him say, you know what, let me call you back because this freaker in the store next to me keep talking to me. How you doing, brother? It was nice talking to you. Nice to see we got some nice local girls here tonight. Yeah? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear the clanging of the Hawaiian braces is what I can hear. <laughs> local girls always got to have choke Hawaiian braces and they're not even Hawaiian. You notice that? If you get Hawaiian braces, it means three things. One, you get plenty of kids. Two, your boyfriend is a drug dealer. <laughs> or three, you're on welfare. <laughs> I think it's time to get this party started. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to bring out our next comedian. 
Once again, welcome to Lolo no Kooi, a tribute to James Grant Benton. He's my partner on the radio. He's also with me on the TV. Ladies and gentlemen, my best friend. Give it up for Mr. Augie Toba. Come on. <laughs> Come on, give it up for Lanai. Come on. Okay, just by applause. How much you guys, how much? Who watches Junk and Bowl? Come on. Clap your hands. It's a great game, but you know, we had to do a local game like that because I cannot picture like a whole local family from Kalihi on the family feud. <laughs> Can you imagine? The Silva family. 100 people surveyed. What would you find in your neighbor's yard? Ah, I get them. Shut up, let me eat. What would you find in your neighbor's yard? A mayonnaise jar with water inside. <laughs> Survey says, ah, Junk this game. <laughs> Anybody, because you know, I'm, from, I'm originally from Kalihi, but I made the big move to Wainai. Anybody from Wainai tonight? Clap your hands. Plenty of lights eh, over here. Let me make you feel at home. You have the right to remain silent. <laughs> Waikiki, man, this is beautiful, bro. And you know, I went to Nordstrom and all the mannequins, different from the auto stores that I shop. Like you go to Nordstrom's, you know, they get, you know, they get the, the mannequin with nipple. Wait, what happened to the simple mannequin where you lift up the dress and go, ah, bullet, bullet. Now the mannequins, they get home. <laughs> and depending on what kind of store you go, the mannequin's different. Like, you go save us? Mannequin, no more arm. No skinny, you know. They all batu, you know. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? Why can't you get all the discos over here? I cannot go disco because I'm a local brother that cannot dance. Because dancing to me went out a long time ago. Because when I used to dance, dancing was fun. You remember how fun that? I'm like 34 years old. When I was in high school, dancing was good, you know? Had the prep. <laughs> we could actually dance with the other girl. Hey! Nowadays, man, the kids, they don't know how to dance. They get lights up. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Chasing flies? I work for an island and reggae station. They get the thing called the skank. The skank. You know what the skank is? The skank is the running man. You remember the running man? The skank is the running man stone. And the women over here when they dance nowadays, they all kind of bam, bam, bam. Come on, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Slow down. Look at my pants. Fading, come on. We're off the dancing nowadays. Because look, guys, we, you know, we, we cannot dance, right, brother? The only reason why we dance is because, you know, Later on, you know? Because right, to me, all local guys, we all dance the same. Like we paddling canoe. <laughs> Miglai, Miglai! Once in a while, you get the speed. <laughs> I ain't seen you. the problem with like using bathroom too because people recognize you you know and I'm always traumatized because in high school I was known to be doodle boy I was a guy that he got caught you know 
Bitter boy. Oh, man. Because in high school, that's the worst. You know, to be known as doodle boy, I think, you know? So you have to make the kind of strategic plans for go in the bathroom so you don't get caught. But sometimes hard because you get that nut in your stomach, you know? You can, you know, guys, you know what you're not talking about where the thing just rock? You know, can you in the bathroom, you're making shishi, you're telling yourself, please, no fart, please. Class, you stand up for nothing. <laughs> okay, move, you're blocking the projector. You guys know how it is. And so I had to always plan my bathroom taking, you know? I used to go when everybody was in class. Remember that, guys? Make the fastest dude in your whole life. <laughs> Can you run in? Yeah! All right. Public school never have toilet paper, eh? Yeah? No, first in high school never had. They kind of had to go look in the stalls, check all the stalls. And if they did, it was a square. You remember the small square ones? And that's not good, you know, because it's hard for wiping you. And you're panicking because you're all, ah! So you don't fully wipe good, you know? You just kind of graze because you're scared. You're freaking out, you know? And you know you never wipe good because by the end of six period, you get the itchy in your collar, you know? Because you're hiding behind a wall. Look okay, at you looking for sharp objects. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, how's everything? Everything good? <laughs> Somebody <laughs> during the holiday season we never had like the holly Santa Claus in the housing. We had the Samoan Santa Claus, the custodian, you know, he always be ticked off every time. Shh, Charlie, stop me, stop me. Come over here now. Come over here right now. Hurry up, all the kids is waiting in line. What are you doing, you Filipino boy? Come over here now. What is your name? Augie. Oakley. No, Santa, I said Augie. That's what I said, Oakley. Santa, Augie! Hey, 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 Oakley. Don't yell at Santa Claus, I'm gonna punch your face, Oakley. And you're really gonna pee, Oakley, Oakley. You guys been a great audience. My name is Augie Toba. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your hands going. The Mope with the joke, Augie Toba. You guys having a good time? Real quick, where's all the Filipinos at? Yeah, be proud, you Filipino. Yes. <laughs> it's the year of the Filipinos, you know, the millennium of the Filipinos. With Angela Baracchio, right, Miss America. Brian Valore, Olympic boxer. Now you got Lanai and Augie. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't know you're Filipino or not, go home and check your wall. If there's that big wooded fork and spoon, <laughs> then you're Filipino. If you eat with that fork and spoon, then you're Samoan. Go home, check your couch. If it's covered with plastic, then you Filipino. If you get somebody sitting underneath, then you Poragi. <laughs> We're gonna get this thing going some more, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to bring out our next duo of comedians. You might see them on OC16. Two of the funniest guys on TV right now because they're the only guys on TV. What is that? Oh, James is running a little late. Okay, well, they're running a little late. We're going to bring out a special guest right now. Please put your hands together for Uncle Don Ho. Hello, everybody. Hello, uh, you guys. Jove, how you doing, man? How you doing, sir? Hello, uh. Oh, 
Hey, 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 baby, baby. We got a show of hospitality, eh? Aloha, give me honey, honey, honey. Wow, this woman licked my face over here. Come, sweetheart, come, follow pops over here. Come, come on, go, come. No, 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 no. No, you can't. You, you get one husband? No, no, you get husband? You know more husband? Who's this guy over here? Yeah, come boy, come. Come, come, no shame, come. You know, can get female, you go for the male, you know what I mean? Come. Greg, help this guy up over here. Help this guy up. There you go, boy, one step at a time. Okay, you help me up now. There you go, man. You see how we all work together, ladies and gentlemen? Come, boy, come, 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 come. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Don Ho. If you guys don't know me, where you been? What's your name, boy? Morris. Nice to meet you. Morris, where you from? Where you from? I am. I am. Local boy then, eh? Morris, go in my pocket. I get something for you in my pocket. <laughs> you sure? You don't like try? You, you like go for what's in the pocket or what's behind door number three over here? <laughs> Big door number three, eh? But I tell you what, Morris, I'm going to give you this lay. No funny stuff, eh? Local star, we give the lay like this. Honey, honey on the side. Wait, 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 Morris, I don't like kiss you or call it over here. Huh? <laughs> don't lean on me, Morris, I'm an old man. Eh? Take it easy, turn this way. We gotta face all the cameras. I'm getting dizzy already. <laughs> Hold my drink, Morris. You go help me out over here. This side. Not bad. Not bad. You ever drink my drink again, I'm going to tell Augie, lick you. <laughs> that boy started on my show about 10 years ago. I taught him everything I know. Morris, you help me out with this song, okay? This will put me on the map. Here we go. This side. Tiny bubble. Oh, Just kick that guy out of here. <laughs> we'll try this side. We'll try this side. You know why? You know why? You better. It look like this side drinking a little bit more tonight. <laughs> hey, hey, Morris, get out of my way. I gotta work the stage over here. Eh? Spill the freaking drink. <laughs> <laughs> no, spill the drink. There you go. Makes me happy. Makes me happy. Not bad for the $35 seats over here. $18 seats back here. Here we go. Makes me feel fine. Makes me feel fine. You know, Mars, 37 years I sing that song. Every single show I do all over the world. I hate that song, you know. <laughs> yeah. And you know, from the way these people sing them, sound like they hate that song too. <laughs> I'm never going to sing that song again. Anyway, you know, Morris. Nowadays, they get uh, all these kind of rappers on the TV, you know, MTV, the VH1. You watch MTV? No. Good boy. <laughs> they go steal all my music. You know those uh, rapper guys? That guy, uh, Six Pack Shakira. Uh, that guy, Snoop Doggy Poop. <laughs> uh, that other guy, Puff Daddy, the Magic Dragon. You know what? <laughs> I don't can stand those kind. You can't even understand what they're saying, you know. So the way I look at it, they can rap, talk, but they cannot move like me. I'm 73. I can still move, you know what I mean? DJ, give me one stinky beat. So hum ha. <laughs> oh, some of you guys cook then, eh? <laughs> it's funky. Check it out, Morris. Check it out. Morris, Morris, give me room, give me room. Yeah. 
Mahalo, mahalo, you guys. Mahalo. Come on, I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> Think I'm gonna finish up there. Yeah, well, a big hand for Morris the cat over here. You're too good, Morris. God bless you. And your wife never like come up. No thing I never forget about her. <laughs> Anybody who knows me, they know I like to open up the stage. I always invite new talent in America, you know, wherever you're from. So I'm going to open up the stage to the local boys over here. Anybody over here like Kanika Pila? May you come up, do some, do some music. Maybe you get some jokes for town over here. Uh, anybody, anybody. Whoa, 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 whoa. Give me one mic. Give me one great. Give me one mic over here. Take it easy, boy. Take it easy. Take this, Greg. Take this, my man. Take it easy, brother. Take it easy. Take it easy. Calm down. I'm not gonna give you the mic till you calm down, boy. Yeah, right on. You know, I, I hate it when these kind of guys come and show, you know. Yeah, we, we go try them out. We go try them out, okay? Boy, tell everybody your name. My name is Kahekili. And what that mean? The Hawaiian or English versions. English, English boy, that what do you think? That means Tanda, Pops. That means Tanda. Tanda. Yeah. Ask the tanda. people out west side, bro. Anybody past Waipahu, they know who is me. Okay. Chicks everything, bro. I'm not scared. I rush like that. Take it easy, bro. Take... All right. Yeah. So, boy, I see you. Uh, you a Dallas Cowboys fan? Huh? You get the hat, everything? Yeah, you know that. Right on. But moreover, I'm a fan of football. There... I could have sworn I just said that, but you know, I'm getting older. Yeah, but moreover, I'm a fan of football. I think they should be one fan of me for being one fan of them. And how you figure that, boy? Well, because, bro, I pay their salaries, bro. I pay their salaries like that, but also like that when I watch my TV, yeah? Salary, salary, yeah. brother, salary. Oh, sal yeah. whatever, it's all G like that, it's all G. They know is what is I'm talking about, eh? Right, right. Yeah. And what, you, you, you get anything, you get any problems, what, you like this? Well, not kind of, well, you know, the reason why I wear this hat is I've been having some personal problems, yeah? And I was talking to my gynecologist the other day. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on, boy, hang on. See, you see what I mean, eh? That's what I'm talking about. Gynecologist. Well, yeah, the doctor who probed your brain. No, you mean psychologist. No, bro. not the girl doctor, bro. <laughs> Pops, come on, Pops. I'm here for you, bro. Bro, I was sitting in a chair, bro. I was sitting in a chair, and he was doing that Jedi's mind stuff on me, bro. Almost had to throw down with brother. Man. Bro, you know what he said? What he said? What he he said? said, I have deep self-conflicting issues of inner turbulence of which I need to address that I may acclimate myself socially to enter back into the publics just like the wild domesticated prairie dogs of the calamari. And if you don't know where the calamari is, bruh, it's in Africa, bruh. Okay, okay. Roots, bruh, roots, bruh, roots. These kind of people, bruh. So basically, you're saying you, you get domestic problems, is what, what you're what telling me. What domestics? What? What? You gonna call the cops on me too, huh? No, no, bruh. Well, who told you that, bruh? Who told you that? I like no. This this guy right here. This, this Hawaiian right guy here. right here. The big the big bro, guy. Get, oh, get this yeah, I help you, oh, brother. Huh? I help you. Here it we go. Brother, you can't. shouldn't have said that. Here you go. There you go, bro. There you go. It's on now, bro. It's on now. Bro, I'm not scared from fight my hooves, bro.
So what, but you get domestics or not? You, you <laughs> Pops, is it that obvious? <laughs> obvious, but uh. Bro, bro, you know chicks, bro. Bro, they just take your heart out, bro, like they take his toilet paper. And then, bro, they don't even bother white people, they just show them on the ground. Bro. Show them on the ground, hey, bro, man. You give them your heart, bro. You, you give, give them. them everything. You give them everything. They're just like more. They're, They're like more. I know more, more. Forgive me already. Yeah. Already missing a couple pieces from a previous relationship, bro. I get you, bro. bro my heart is so fast. The thing is like job labor already, bro. I'm sorry, bro. What happened to your teeth? <laughs> bro, what's up with my grill, bro? Bro, she was all pissed off, boo. We saving money, saving money, cause you know we save money, yeah, like. yeah, yeah, yeah. I go just spend big screlers, bro. Bright smile and hook my grill up, bro. I heard about this, uh, this Rolos Noko Oys, bro. So I was coming like that, bro. I wanted to come in fire. But, but, bro, but she got all pissed off, dude. She got, she went for say, bro. Bro, what you do is spending our money. We don't keep buy diapers now. We don't keep buy food. We don't keep buy this. We don't keep buy that. Next thing you know, bro, we was going like this, bro. She went throwing left, I went throwing left, I went dark, she went down. She went great down her pipe, bro. She bust my grill like that. It's all like that. <laughs> Try that again, I said, bro. Try that again, bro. Come on. Where is you? <laughs> I quit this job already. <laughs> Women's, bro. You guys is nuts. <laughs> and you guys more nuts for go out with one brother like me. <laughs> I can't handle sometimes, bro. I gotta get you this therapy. That's the reason why I wear this hat. It serves as a constant reminder for me to strive and aspire to be better than I is. A perspiring star. So one day, when I grow up, I can be on Hawaii stars. Lolo no koi style, huh? Whew, I'm feeling good right now. I'm feeling good. I get up on to that. No more slippery spots like this right here. Huh? What's up? Huh? What? This is the, the other thing, yeah? You know about it, bro. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, I know I know more ukulele. I know more on real talents. Oh, hang on. <laughs> but if I may indulge the audience, then I may defecate on this microphone <laughs> to prolificate the inner turbulence that is, which is inside of me. To turn that turbulence into something more negative than it is positive, because two negatives make a positive. <laughs> if I may, Please let me bust out. I'm oh, sorry, the spit is rolling out of my grill over here. You try talking with your upper lip like that, but it's not, bro. Where was I? If it may please the court, your I mean, uh, if you please the people, your honor, I would like to bust out one special rhyme. And it goes to something like this. Roses are red and violets are blue. I wish my friend Pocho was here to view. Me here on this stage and back on my feet. All because my ex-chick would false crack my teeth. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, mokes and tira of all shapes and sizes. Just remember, where there's thunder, there's lightning. I don't even know why they arrest us. Maybe it's because we look so good in a table. <laughs> well, uh, now I know what Omelka Fang is feel like. Hey, good job, buddy. Stay off of the road. You could get banged. Hi, yes, I know, I just spoke to them. They said they'll be here as soon as they can. 
Okay, yes, I will bring them up as soon as possible. Okay, okay, bye. Sully, you guys see the farm. Don't we wait for that. Oh, fine, excuse me. Uh, pretty lady, could you please do us a favor? Will you tell us how to get to the Sheraton Waikiki? Oh, you guys are so off. You got, okay, you gotta go down this road, yeah, you go yeah. around that big mountain over there. It's over by Costco's. Oh. And right next to Costco's, got my auntie's house. And there's a red bike over there. It's right nearby there. Find a red bike? Find a red bike. Oh, thank okay. you so much. Thank God you. bless you. Thank you. Have a good day. Should be over here somewhere. Oh, sorry, wrong way. Buddy, you direct us to the Sheraton. Uh, which way is the way you keep? That way. That way? God bless you, buddy. Thank you. Oh, goodness gracious, man. I told you, you cannot play on a hurry, swing. Hurry, 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 hurry up. Oh, pick up, pick up, pick up. Hello. Ariana, it's 50 50 and hey, how? 50 50, where are you? Well, it's over here. It smells like crap. I think it's by the zoo or something. Yeah, hey, it's by the zoo. I know it stinks. Okay, you're by the zoo, fine, but you need to get to your soon as possible. Yeah, how do we get to the Saratin? Okay, take a left by the lures. Yes. Okay, okay. Good, hey, how better be with you. We'll get here as soon as you can. We'll be there in a part of lickety splickety. Okay, bye. It's straight over here! It's over here! Okay, I see them. We'll be going up to the field. Oh my goodness! I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Hey, Ariana, you got a good crowd over there? Awesome crowd. Oh yeah. You guys are late every day. Sorry, you guys are going to work hard. Okay. This crowd's waiting. Everything is set up already, so you're going to go on stage and do your thing, and that's it. Okay, sounds good okay. to me. Hey, baby. Woo, you look looking cool looking today. Woo. How far are you coming up to me? How far are you going to teach this for me? Woo, yeah, baby. Woo. Did anybody ever tell you? What are you doing? Come on, really? Ah, 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 ah. I'll check you out later, baby. Thank you, let's go. Tigers. Oh, oh my. Okay. okay. Yeah, you man. guys are ready. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we have to see the wishes, Baba. <laughs> Baba. Are you ready to rock this place up? Oh, yeah. I don't know how he's ready for the two best looking guys in the world. All right, so Fala, hey. Yes, we are coming right up. So Fala, hey, let me show your friend. Let me show your friend. We are taking right now. Oh, we will be oh, there Fala, in you less than five seconds. They are checking, checking their breath right Smell now. Smell my breath. It smells like a soup. Okay, thanks. All right. Oh, okay. All right, gentlemen, we are ready. Ready. Okay. Go get them handsome. Very, thank you very much. Okay. Beautiful. You're welcome. Here we okay. go. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Oh, it's just a right. girl. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. All right. Okay, bye guys. Thanks. Oh, I have to go home and disinfect my hair now. Woo. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Hey Ha. My name is Fiti Fiti. Together we snow as Fiti Fiti and a Hey Ha. <laughs> now, for those of you who never do see Fiti Fiti and Hey Ha before, please raise up your hand. You never you see us before. If you ever do see us, raise it up. Okay, five, five okay. six. Square root of four. Carry the one. That guy count is two. My Mr. Two. Okay, that 14. That guy is count for three. About 15 people. 15 people. How many of you never do see us before? Raise your hand. Never do. Okay, put it down, we are here. Now you see us. Okay, now we're all on an even field. Woohoo! Fall for the oldest chicken out of the book. Well, uh, they start a people where we are from because a lot of people think that we are Samoan. Oh, oh no, 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 no. 
We are only this much Samoan. 少し、少し。Instead of our accent and our hair. 大事。大事。Now, we are Polynesia, ladies and gentlemen. We are Polynesia. We originate from the Papua New Guinea beach. That's right. Where is that, you might ask? What? Where is it, you may ask? Oh, you asking where it is? 92 degrees longitude, 96 degrees latitude, right next to the Easter Islands. Right next door. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we don't only stay there. No. We catch a canoe to the Fiji. Go to the Fiji. To get some education. Once we go to the Fiji, we go on top of the jet ski. And then we go to the Rorotanka. Rorotanka. After we go to Rorotanka, we catch the hot air balloon and we end up inside of Madagascar. Which is right next to the Aussie Australia. Yeah. And anybody who studied the globe is know where Aussie Australia is. That is right, brother. Yeah. Now, on top of the Aussie Australia, we look inside the ocean. My goodness, the Hokule is going by.、Oh. We have a port, the Hokulea. We come over here to Hawaii.、Yeah. Because in Papua New Guinea Peak, Papua New Guinea Peak, brother, what do they do? The men, ladies, the men do all the work. All of it. Can I get a hallelujah? <laughs> ladies, hallelujah.、Right. Now, inside of the Papua New Guinea Peak, the men is clean all the toilet, even the scribbling on the side. Even the Can I get a hallelujah? Inside of Papua New Guinea Peak, the men is to all the cooking, all the dusting, all the cleaning, all the shopping, all of the washing. They even got to wash the beverages with the turu stain on top of it. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, inside of Papua New Guinea Peak, the men is even clean the baby diaper. And it's the cloth diaper. And they use the baby wife. It's very, very nice. Very cute. It's very not cool. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! That is why we moved to America. That's a bunch of poo bunch crap. A poo crap. I don't want to see that、there. kind of job, man. I'm looking for a beautiful American girl. It's take care of me. Yeah, where everything is free. With the baby wives. Everything is free 93, brother. But you know the one thing, brother? What? People always say to me, hey, ha! Hey, ha! What is your claim to the fame? What is your claim? And I tell them, we are the originate of the solid boat. Solid boat. You see the guy, the typo, Billy p l a n k he tried to steal it from yeah, us. The Popolo guy, he steals it from us. We、you、give him a l o t of crack from the back. Yeah. He spares the residual now. Yeah. Brother, a lot of you out there, maybe you eat a s a i m i n bowl. Yeah. Maybe a lot of you are going to go to the Chai f i n you're going to eat the beef s t u r r y curve bowl. See, if you eat all of that, you're going to end up on the toilet bowl. Yeah. <laughs> that is why we give you the solid bowl, ladies and gentlemen. Solid bowl. We are the originate of the punch of steel. The punch of steel. Oh, wait. My brother is punch of steel. He's so punch, he's so hard of rock. You stick a walnut inside, <laughs> he's going to crack it. My brother s o k o l i is so big. You put a charcoal inside. You put a charcoal. Sir, get away from him. You're gonna get sucked up. Yeah, you're gonna do it. Watch out, Richard. Don't put、yeah. your hand over here. It's gonna go like this. Yeah. Next thing you、hang、know, on, I'm gonna、on. be the doggy on the leash going like that. Stay away from him. It's、you. crazy. It's crazy. My brother, you put a charcoal, you come out a diamond. Diamond. It's a woman's best friend, ladies and gentlemen. That's what they say. In fact, I remember, brother, we were standing by the subway getting a little sandwich. Yeah. And a little boy is getting too close to my brother over here. And I was over here looking for what, is guy, what kind of sandwich I'm going to buy. And the guy, the boy is going, Excuse me, sir. <laughs> 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 I thought he was trying to take my wallet. <laughs> Silly rabbit, chicks is for the kids. And the, and the little boy s a y Mama, it smells like a baby wipes. That's in everybody? But I think it smells like a little baby piggy. Hey, Sully, are you making a mockery of me in front of all of these people? No, no,、huh? I don't make a mockery.、Huh? 
You want to get false crack? No, but I. You want me to give you a false crack? No, but. They told you make a mockery in front of me, in front of all of you. No, I don't make a mockery. Hey, my mother is your mother. That's right. Your mother is my mother. Your mother. So you better shut up your mouth. You better mind your business, oh. Okay. Or I'm going to hit you with the host rubber. Get off the stage. But I hey! You need to brush your teeth twice a day. <laughs> you probably look like you brush it two times in a month. But Why I you at it? Go use salicylary too. Maybe a little bit stronger with a gasoline or something, buddy. Use the 89, unlet it. But, but I, I shut up your mouth. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to make apology for my brother. He's more crazy than crazy. At this time, we show you guys how we do a cheeky like this and a cheeky like that. And show you, the, oh, what is it? You want to take a picture, buddy? Hey, you better use a wide angle on this one, buddy. <laughs> we show you guys we go to the 70s. We go to the 80s and we do everything. A lot of people don't know what is the origin of the Polynesia. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, since we came over from Madagascar, we meet so many beautiful people. Everybody is Polynesia. Please welcome to the stage my family, Hede Tamanui! Hede Tamanui Yorana! Come over here, please! Please come over here! Show us what is it about, man! Hey, buddy, I'm gonna leave this jacket over here. You take it, buddy. You're gonna have to answer to me, Tiger Cakes. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, I need a stand over here. Malo Sole. Malo Sole. Malo means thank you. Sole means boy. Actually, Sole means man. Tama is boy. I don't know what either one of these things have to do with the other, but I just figured I'm going to say it. <laughs> it's up to you if you want to laugh, whatever. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I want you to put your hands together one time. When I say Fatia, you're going to clap one time. How many times? Patia, 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 Patia. Woo! Over here, no more cool slide. You gotta listen to me and my instruction, but you're not looking at my butt. Okay, when I say Lua Patia, you're gonna clap two times. How many times? Hey, now is the time to make your mouth open. When I say Lua Patia, you're gonna clap how many times? How many times? Lua Patia! Lua Patia! Lua Patia! Lua Patia! Lua Patia! Ooh, Ooh, you guys are good. Okay, now. When I say Lua Patia Malayo, you're gonna go. Lua Patia Malayo! Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage my brother and a hey hi and a fire knife dancer. Yeah, that is what I thought. A lot of you guys think I'm gonna say aloha. Some guys think I'm gonna say talofa. But I fake all you guys out. So we yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a minute over here. Nobody told me the fire is hot. Okay, okay. I'll be very honest. I am not a professional 
I just started fire knife about two weeks ago. I started on top of the island of Kilauea. Maybe you guys read about me inside of the forest. I'm the guy who started the fire. I put my knife down, it burned a tree. Next thing I know, it burned about five acre. Next thing I know, I owe triple C. My daddy, he's on a trick dreaming company, he's put down a million dollars and I'm here. So, for your viewing pleasure, I'm gonna do for you the flameless fire knife dancer. <laughs> That's right, ladies and gentlemen, flameless fire knife dancer. So, yeah. Music, cut of music. Nobody tell me when you feel it, it's still hot over here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is our time. We are the brothers, and sometimes we just buckle loose. Mahalo. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, give it up. Tony Silva, James Roche, the brothers. One more time, how's about a big hand for the Bradas? Give the Bradas a big round of applause. You guys are funny. Check them out on OC16. Real quick before we move on, we got any Chinese people here tonight? Chinese. How come Chinese people are so upset? You notice that? They're always angry at everything. I figured it out. I know what it is. I think they're just born into negativity. You know what I mean? As soon as they're born, they're given like a negative last name. Like hung low, <laughs> low fat, <laughs> ho. Chinese people are so upset, they got a restaurant at Macaulay Shopping Center called Fuck You and Seafood. <laughs> what the hell is that? Right downstairs, there's Fuck Your Thai. <laughs> We're gonna keep this thing rolling. We're gonna bring out our next comedian. Save the best for last. One of my idols. Ladies and gentlemen, just off his prison tour. Please put your hands together for Uncle Mel Kabang. Yeah, dude. Hi, everybody. Hi. Hey, Wayne. Wow. It's the real thing, huh? More people than this in jail, though. <laughs> but as you know, I just came back from extended vacation. So I'm feeling all right, though. Straight. I found out that uh, I owed the money. IRS said I, I made a million dollars. I don't know where the hell a million dollars went, but they said I got it hidden somewhere. I got to find out where the thing is, man. As soon as I can find out where it is, and they can give me one nice. Mmm. New shirt. <laughs> Who's using this microphone before me? I'm gonna smell like garlic, man. Let's check around the room. I got my own light here. Just in case the light never show up, you know. Hey, brother, you guys, you guys following me? Hey, wait, I gotta take off this hat because you guys can see the real dome, man. Eh? <sighs> man, it's a thrill to be back. It really is. I get car now. When I first came out, I had moped. It was rough driving to Wainai, you know. That's the cheapest rent down there in Wainai, yeah? Tough driving down there, but what, what, what was happening here? Because I was in the bathroom all this time. I had stomach ache. Yeah? I didn't even know who was on, whatever. I, I know they had a couple midgets on that was on here. How you doing, girls? Damn, baby. You know, why did they put you in front? 
You know, my tongue gonna jump all over the place. Uh. Good looking girl, how you doing, ma'am? I don't care for good looking girls myself, but you're really too good looking for me. I gotta find one that's not that good looking. They're on this side here. You guys are lucky. Here they are right here. How you doing, girls? I'm not gonna point. I'm not that stupid. I'm gonna point and then get a chance to go back to jail again. You know what I mean? So one of them might be, what, what they call uh, somebody, somebody they important, belong to IRS or something. So Wayne, how you doing, brother? It's a pleasure seeing you up close, buddy. Right on. It's one thing you learn in prison. You don't shake hands with other people. That's how you catch disease. That's the most communicable way of catching disease, shaking hands. You think about it. You shake hands, dig, dig the ear, dig the nose, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shaking the other guy, he dig his ear, yeah, 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 yeah. Ten years ago, I shake hands with a bald-headed person. Yeah. That sucker got hair now. <laughs> look at that head, bro. Hey, Wayne, look at that head, bro. That's a head, everybody. Eh, they call me Bullet. <laughs> I look like a bomb, actually. Eh? All right, look, uh, I brought my band tonight, so I was thinking of doing some song. Which other face? I mean, I don't know which. Uh, you guys can see my outer face and then the outer face, but I don't know which way to go, man. I don't know who invented it. A Japanese guy did this. <laughs> You know, Japanese, they got peripheral vision, all side view, eh? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Now Wayne gonna talk bad about me tomorrow, you see? <laughs> I don't mean to face my other side to you guys, all right? You guys look in, the, look in the monitor over there, all right? Some of you really intelligent people. They look intelligent because I already look at you. <laughs> They're all tired. All these people came up here, all the midget and the two quills, and I don't know what else was up here. A little short guy, I said, honey, can you please, uh... no, serious, I mean, if you can, uh... by the way, you got your dress on backwards? <laughs> you know, I've been in prison three years, you know, huh? <laughs> Don't get nervous, honey, I'm just telling the truth, okay? You should be blessed, I mean, you are blessed. <laughs> All right, look. I don't know where I'm going to which side, the guys that do the loudest, that's the side I'm going to sing to, okay? All right, you guys lose. Yeah. All right. No, this is the cheap seats, I know already. <laughs> Every time in the cheap seats, everybody go crazy. <laughs> How you doing, hon? How you doing? You look good from far. Better than far from good. <laughs> I like the way you walk too, honey. One leg in front of the other. That's great. Yeah, most of my girls walk sideways, eh? Well, I feed them crabs. All right, I'm going to sing to these guys, and I, I don't know. I don't know what you guys going to do over there. You guys got to watch the, the mirror, okay? Watch the reflection. How you doing, girl? Is that really your blonde hair? Treat that thing good, baby. You never know when you're gonna jump off, all right? <laughs> no, I, I got hair like that, but mine is in the back, eh? <laughs> all right, hey, I, I'm thinking of singing a song, but I need my band. Buddy, come on up. This is my main man back here. I don't know if you guys know this guy. Yeah, his name is uh, Chuck because he throws up a lot. You know, up Chuck. <laughs> Thank you, dog. You're the best, baby. All right? But he's deaf, he don't can hear that good. <laughs> so what you gotta do, you gotta hide a, hire the handicap. You alright, dog? Hey, where you going with my hat? He don't even know he got red shoes on, he blind too. <laughs> I told you don't stand behind me, never stand behind me. You know I've been in prison a long time. <laughs> what can I say, this guy cannot read lips, he cannot... You guys alright back there? Gee whiz, I hope my cellular phone don't ring. Well, I got a cellular phone, you know, so I, I finally got a cellular phone, but it doesn't ring like you guys' cellular phone, you know. My cellular phone little bit, ring a little bit different, because if you're in a crowd and your cellular phone ring, you don't know it's yours. You know, everybody go for the cellular phone, right? 
So I changed the phone, you know, the ring. Mine goes, poop. Like, I don't know why people start moving away, you know. Like, and they look at me weird, you know. Then it gets progressively louder, right? Pretty soon I'm on the last ring. Nobody in the room with me, you know. All right, I'm going to open up now. And I see all the girls look really nice tonight. I just don't trust the people in the back. I mean, they crowd over there, paid for, paid for the expensive seats, though. They get kind of, you know, they get pissed off. All right, uh, brother, brother, give me some sound. I'm going to open up now. All right, dog? All right, baby, you're the best. The guy ain't worth nothing to you. I tell everybody they're the best. I, I even told the guards they was the best. All right. How's it going? How you going? A lot of Filipinos here. Go, go, go. How do you speak Filipino? You gotta jumble all the words together. I like to go to the store. I can't go with you. Then you put the high part. I like to go to the store. Then you put the All right, I'm sorry. I'll go and fix this. I let these guys view the good part right now. Relax, relax. Relax! <laughs> and this is an ignorant crowd. <laughs> Next year, I don't have to do this no more. How you doing, hon? You look great. Buddy. Is that your own clothes you're wearing and everything? <laughs> no, I like it. You got the shoulder pads. That was invented by Portuguese, you know. No, it used to be padded body. Put them on wrong place. Huh? <laughs> and all the Japanese buying them now, you know. <laughs> Just joking, hon. You married? No, no, I'm not, not you, ma'am. You're too old for me. I guess. No, I don't know why you think I'm looking at you. I'm looking at her. I'm serious, ma'am. Plus, you look like you got your father's clothes on. What? You want me to lie? I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm going to sing this song for you, all right? You guys all right back there? All right, relax. <laughs> I don't know which way to turn. I tell you, it's tough. Well, I got two faces, so it's not too bad, you know. Some boys are going to say, hey, I'm going to punch your eye, go ahead. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Okay, hit it. Hit it, boys. <laughs> this song I wrote in prison. Okay? It's a very, very sad song. So, no, 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 I'm serious. The prisoners used to cry every night. Mel, <laughs> Mel, no, no, play the song. Play the song. <laughs> All right, calm down, bro. Calm down. I wrote this real late at night, you know. Hit it, boys. <laughs> Hang on, this song don't have no words. Good. Well, you know what happened? Uh, I wrote it late at night, and you know, in prison after ten o'clock, you know, can talk, eh? much time <laughs> and by the way if you guys got uh, any any uh, phone cellular phone try to turn them off because I got an ankle bracelet on it <laughs> cellular phone ringing my legs start going like this <laughs> and all the old, old ladies start looking at me you know <laughs> all right second verse By the way, this is a sing-along, so join in. <laughs> you guys are a tough crowd, man. All right, hang on. We're going to talk to the important people now. <laughs> How you doing? Are you, are you? Shut up! <laughs> How you doing, ma'am? Are you a tourist? How did, how did you do that? He made your voice come right out of that guy in the back there. I didn't even see your lips move, nothing. All right, girl, how you doing? Pretty tricky, eh? I like you, and you got nice big feet, I like that. 
That's one of the traits I look for, big feet. But when they fall down, they come right up by themselves, you know. <laughs> she go down and look at her feet. <laughs> Nobody has ever told you that before? So, uh, which is, is your husband behind you? You're not married? What, you tourist? tourists? Said, okay, I hope we don't have tourists here. If you do, you guys better stop stealing the sand, all right? <laughs> no, I'm serious. I've seen the tourists. You, you don't know Sandy Beach? That's what happened to the sand, the tourists. They're taking the sand. That's not erosion. They sit down, put them in old coal, they walk right out with the damn thing. Turn your side now. Estimated one tourist take one pound sand back mailing with them. You seen the plane, how low they fly? That's all tourists. They're loaded up, baby. All right. Me and the boys were thinking of doing some more songs. But I'm almost at the end of my track here. I got to get going because I got to go report. I got to get up early tomorrow. I go to church. I go one day early. <laughs> that way you don't have to pay. Eh? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> I don't need all that attention. You know, my IRS guy is all outside over there. <laughs> you find out how much cash I'm making tonight, baby. I don't know about these IRS guys, eh? Terrible, man. They crucify me. I got to find that million dollars. I'm a millionaire. I don't even know yet. I'm still a millionaire. They said I made a million dollars in gambling. Can you imagine that, dude? A million bucks in gambling. I must have been a good gambler, eh? <laughs> I quit gambling. Four years I never gamble. Because when you gamble, you lose your ass. Look how big my ass now. I'm sorry, baby. Sorry. Hope they can put that part on TV. That was great. All right, I'm going to sing another song. Wow, well, this is going to be my first song. Because my last song wasn't that good. Okay, for my second song. <laughs> And how you guys doing over there? How you guys doing? All right? All right. That's all my cousins over there. That's all Filipinos. My boy! Well, maybe not that. Right? It's not my name. My boy! Six five, six five. See, I don't. Just shut up, all right? I don't have no chance. I don't have no chance. IRS told me I can't hang around the gamblers. They said I can't stick around with them. I can't talk to them. I can't do anything. Association, nothing. And that's half the damn state. What am I going to do? Got to find me a nice bald-headed woman. This couple over here right now, I can see them. I can see the roots. How you doing, baby? No, I'm sorry I, I said something wrong to you, ma'am. I, I, I think you're very nice from far. You know, you're nice looking girl. You go to church? You get cash? You get car? <laughs> huh? You get truck? It's even better. You're right in the back. We'll go. It's a sick audience, man. I ain't kidding. Da la 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 la. Ooh, man, a chicken. Eat your heart out, bald headed women. <laughs> bald headed women. Yeah? Next year I'm gonna be star. I don't have to do this no more. My throat is dry. If I could give me a glass of water or something, great. Is it, is it full? Oh, here me. Here comes the girl, eh? Here comes a girl. How you doing, hon? How you doing, baby? You look good, baby. <laughs> who brought you? To, who told you to bring water? Somebody paid you? Because nobody would come up here by me. 
Don't walk so fast. You're gonna burn your panties. All right, look. I gotta go because I gotta get up early. This is you guys had too much fun tonight. What a price you guys get. See this wire I get? This thing is wireless, that's why. How you doing, buddy? Japanese? Yeah, you, brother. Buddy. So, Japanese, they don't know if I'm talking to them or not. See? Skoshi. Is that your girl next to you? Filipino girl? Your daughter? Man, brother, you must have started really early, eh, dude? How you doing, girl? So you get a nice smile. Is that your own teeth, everything? <laughs> no, you don't know who's missing their teeth, and you don't really care anyway, right? My teeth, my, my, I'm lucky I get all my teeth, because I, I, I chew gum and, and I play with rubber. We got scissors clean as here tonight. How you doing, guys? Give, give, give a holler, you know, guys, you guys are important people in here. You guys clean all my clothes. Girls, how you doing? What a bunch of deadbeat boys. <laughs> Scissors cleaners, get the buggers out. No good. <laughs> Why are you guys so shy? I'm not going to shine the light. My boss told me don't shine the light. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Take off your clothes, I shine them. Just joking, man, just joking. I say I had to say it twice in case there's Portuguese in here, you know. <laughs> just joking, just joking. You ever, you ever listen to Portuguese talk? They always say things twice, you know. Bro, where you going? Store, store. <laughs> what you gonna buy? Bread, bread. <laughs> I like go. No, no. <laughs> they do that one for each year, eh? <laughs> you know, you know, you do it. we're doing this thing, you know, Man, this is really something to because, uh, you know, we're doing a tribute for uh, James Grant Benton, of course. And, uh, yeah. I mean, the guy was good. I was watching all the videos and he's pretty good, you know. He's, uh, I mean, I knew him, but he wasn't, you know, IRS used to ask me, do you know James Grant Benton? So, I don't know that guy. I don't know, I don't know, what, I don't know him. <laughs> I heard he running one big operation. Yeah, he's running one big operation, all right? You know, you, you go eat dinner with him, you gotta pay. You go movie, you gotta pay. You ride his car, you gotta buy gas. This guy's a pretty smart guy. Well, anyway, I, I, I hope, I wish he, that he didn't, you know, go because we had to do this big show. And now I'm stuck with all of, you know, carrying the, the weight here. How you doing, kid? How's everything going, boy? You're a handsome kid, you know that boy? Boy! Where's your mother, boy? You know, when I was your age, I used to look like you, you know that? You know what that means? You get my age, you're gonna look like me, boy! Alright, look. I'll do my last song, then I gotta go. I'm serious, man. I gotta get, I gotta get out of here. But I wrote this song many years ago, and I got special requests. Three ugly broads came approached me outside. And they said, "Mel, we have nothing to live for. Play the song." All right, you ugly broads, I'll play it for you. <laughs> no, you girls know who you are. I'm not gonna point, okay? <laughs> I love ugly, ugly women. They're the best. You can trust them because nobody else like them. I'm serious, man. You got a good looking girl, you send them store, you gotta watch your clock what time they come back. You got an ugly broad, send them store, you don't care what time they come back. You hope they don't come back. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Sing my last song, then I gotta go, because I told you guys I gotta get up early. I don't know if you guys know it, but I'm the guy that poked the holes in the sand for the crabs. Why? 
Who do you think booked the holes, crabs? <laughs> Not no more, they hire Filipinos. You know, it's Filipino, everything. How you doing, dude? How's everything, pretty good? How's everything going, brother? You all right? Damn, you got some big ears on your head, dude. I got big ears myself, you know. It's not my fault. I used to pee in my pants when I was small. So my mother got tired changing my diapers. One day she just took off all my clothes, hang me on the clothesline. Go ahead, piss on your arm. I just cannot go under those fans that go around like that, you know. Okay, we got a lot in store for you guys that we still have some more. So I gotta go, I gotta take off. They're giving me the signal. <laughs> Terrific, huh? <laughs> Mel, you're hanging yourself. <laughs> How you doing, boy? How you get that hair like that, boy? Don't shame, be proud about your hair, boy. Check that hair. Check that hair, everybody. Orange. Damn, brother. I wish I had that kind of hair like that, boy. Look like Ed Carr hair's hair, you know that guy Ed. You seen his hair? He look like one damn, what do they call it? Q-tip standing up. <laughs> one used one. <laughs> you seen that guy's arms? He got hair all over his arms. I thought he was wearing a long sleeve shirt tonight. <laughs> if I had that kind of hair in my arms, I'd walk around like this, man. I'm taking pills now. I take it, I'm taking pills to grow my hair. Minoxidil. It's a Japanese pill. They found them in Japan. It's a, it's a high blood pressure derivative. That was hard to say. No, I, I seen the Japanese. The eyebrows three, four inches long, you know. I figure if you can make that bug eight, nine inches, you can comb that sucker back, right? Tell you what, folks, it is really nice to be back. I, I really feel good to be back here. It's like, uh, and I tell you what, I, I, I thought of everybody, and I, I don't know all of you guys, but I thought of all my friends, and you know, countless days I used to think of everybody. Just, how you doing, man? Put on your arm. You might stink up the whole room. It's just, she's over there waving. How you doing? You married, honey? You are? Where, that, that bald lady guy there? Dump money, go with me, baby. As soon as I find a million, we'll be rich. <laughs> Last story here. So there's three girls, you know. Three girls was in the, the hot tub, in the spa. They was enjoying themselves. They, you know, they took their clothes off. They was relaxing in the hot tub. And... No, it, it, it's a good joke. So, so a couple minutes later, the, the, the beeper goes off. Beep, 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 beep. She should press her arm. You know, the other girl said, wow, what is that? She said, well, it's on my arm. I get implanted. I get implanted when uh, beeper is on my arm. Wow, that's pretty good. So a couple minutes later, the cellular phone go off. Ding, 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 ding. The other girl answered. She <laughs> said, what you got? I said, in my hand, I get, you know, I get cellular phone. It's pretty good. So a couple minutes later, the girl said, yeah, I got to go. I, the third girl, she felt stupid, so she walked away. Came back. You know, she had toilet paper hanging from the okole. So, yeah, you can talk. Yeah, I know. I got one fax coming out. <laughs> Thanks a lot, everybody. See you later, man. Ladies and gentlemen, Uncle Mel Kabang. <laughs> later, I met Randy Lorenzo and Mackie Fury and all those guys in high school. I started to play drums. And then all of a sudden, I'm this skinny holly guy playing with Gabby Pahinoi. And everybody's saying, who's this guy playing drums with Gabby? Well, just from hanging around with people who didn't think I was handicapped changed my whole attitude. I was about eight years old and uh, I was in Maui. Went to a record store, saw Booga Booga, the first Booga Booga album. Got it because uh, I had R. Oh, no, no, he said adult content. And I was like, yeah! Listen to it the whole summer. By the end of the summer, I memorized the whole Booga Booga, you know, the whole Booga Booga, Booga, Booga album. I remember like, um, you know, going to school that, going back to school in the sixth grade and doing 
the first couple bits without the bad words. You know, and uh, me and my partner, you know, this out of Portuguese guy, we was known as the, we was known as the Pocho Man. And we came out and we did, uh, we actually did um, uh, Canacula, and we did, um, and we did Confessions. It was very intense, very funny, and sometimes it would be very argumentative, but there was always reconciliation, always. And uh, James, uh, being the wonderful moderator that he is, uh, the wonderful human resource manager that is, because me and Rap were, we, we were totally out of control. We were out of control. Punahou Kamehameha, wrong already. You know, you're talking about beefs and cracks right there, you know what I mean? And what, bro, you know? Booga Booga was innovative. They were off the cuff, they were here, they were now, they were in your face. This is us, this is what we represent. And uh, they just, you know, they buckle loose. They went for it. They were, you know, they were the forefathers of uh, local comedy. First time I saw James, 1974, around 1974, they used to come into my club at uh, Gold Coin, and they were just starting off at the time. They were doing uh, rehearsals, and after rehearsals, they would come to my club. And our, our meetings, our creative writing sessions, they would last like two days. You know, we, we would work very hard, and I mean, you know, work. And we would write jokes, cons consider jokes, um, invent scenarios, go to bed, have dinner, have lunch, maybe uh, take a walk and then come back. But we would, we would not leave our working uh, situation until we came up with, with what, what our objective was. And in most cases, it was two to three skits. You're a dead man, Lane. Why? Shut up. I ain't taking no chances, Lane. I'm going to kill you now. Now think about what you're doing. Shut up, dead man. Time to say your prayers. Don't do that. Sorry, Lane. It's time to say goodbye. James and I met on Maui. I had actually hired him to be the master of ceremonies for the Kalua Pig Cook-Off at the Royal Lahaina Resort. And my usual person that picked up talent at the airport was sick. So I jumped in a golf cart to go get him. And um, we struck up a conversation. He said, ah, oh, I didn't even know you talked. I just see you walking around giving orders all the time. And um, which offended me tremendously. <laughs> and we got into this conversation about life in general in Hawaii and uh, just ended up holding hands from about seven o'clock that morning till two o'clock the next morning, talking about everything you can possibly imagine particularly food and travel and animals and every time we turned a corner we found we had something in common with one another. The first night we spent together we made marinara sauce from scratch naked <laughs> and I told him James you can't do that you're going to get burned <laughs> and he had a way of making marinara sauce that was different from how I make marinara sauce. And uh, from that day on, he never cooked again. He thought he was a great cook and he was gonna show me something. And he hadn't let, yet learned my passion was food. If I would be sick or really tired, James loved to make me a treat. And his favorite thing to make was always sashimi because I love sashimi. And he would always pick a great big black show plate and he would shave cucumber as thin as he could and he'd make this border all scalloped all the way around the plate. And, and he'd prepared the daikon and he'd squeeze it out. And then he'd do lemon zest and ginger, because I like that. And he'd make this pile and he'd lay my name out in the sashimi. And that's what he always gave me to make me feel better. There's a picture he took of, of me making cabbage salad one day. And he said, you have to put passion in it. And he had me squeezing this cabbage so hard. Uh, everything James did about food, about life, about answering a telephone or writing a note or putting on his slippers or his socks when he put socks on was passion. James, James was the most free spirit, loving, spontaneous, undisciplined person about life. Disciplined in his craft, but about life, James woke up, it was like he was being born every day. Well, growing up with my father, 
uh, it's just a bunch of laughs. I mean, you'd think he was funny on stage, but you should have seen the stuff he used to do out on the deck. Uh, I think uh, the best word is intelligent, especially for you know a local guy who's like a master at pigeon, if there is such a thing. You know, he, he was very intelligent, very deep. My first time ever in front of a crowd in that format. And um, it was bad. I mean, maybe I got a chuckle here or there. And I came off stage and I remember, I remember him turning to me and he, he says in his craspy voice of his, and, and he just said, hey, work on your material, you get them. His joy in stopping drinking was his greatest thrill. Um, the last year and a half of his life, I would say, is the happiest I've ever seen the man. Creative people like James have many, many gifts, and they share them real selflessly. But they also have a lot of demons. That's how they can come up with what they come up with. And James had those. And on the last year and a half of his life, he was just thrilled with every day. He was aware every moment of what he was doing and thinking. and. I think the look on his face when he saw his granddaughter is probably my fondest memory. I'm going to miss him just as a brother. He was my brother. More my brother than my blood brother because we were pono together. One thing I'm going to miss most about my dad is the friendship. Um, it's like uh, little kids would say, you know, he's my best friend in the whole wide world. That's the thing that I would miss, the friendship. I'd like to introduce to you one more time, give them all a big round of applause, my partner, Augie Toba. Uncle Mel Kabang. Where are you, Uncle Mel? Come on, make some noise. Give it up for the brothers! And last but not least, our daddy, the oldest guy in here, Uncle Ed Cahair. Come on, give them all a big round of applause. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to tell a story, okay, ladies and gentlemen, that the story has to do was Waikiki of the 1970s, when it was cool, when it was Hawaiian, when there was a lot of stuff around in the 1970s. And you need to help us do this. And we're going to ask for story ideas. I want you to imagine Kalakaua Avenue in 1975 at about, what time, KT? Midnight on Kalakaua Avenue. We are at the Beef and Grog. Ooh, we got some old mothers over here. Uh, Edward, I think I was sperm that day. Man. I'm sorry. You're just a glitter in That's daddy's it. eyes. We are, at the, we are at the Beef and Grog in 1975. And who comes walking out of the Beef and Grog at midnight in 1975, bro? Who comes walking out? Don Ho. Well, wow, that's a real hard one, but huh? <laughs> Thank you. Hello, everybody. Aloha. How's everybody doing? And this is how he's talking as he's walking down Kalakaua. He's, he's greeting everybody because he's Don Ho. Walking up to Don Ho and talking to Don Ho is who, baby? Are you, but Yeah, by the way. Jack Lord. Jack Lord is walking up. To hey, Don Ho on Kalakaua Avenue at midnight, Jack. I get him, I get him right here, I get him right here. Come, brother, come, Jack Lord. Come here, Jack Jenner. Lord. Right here, come, come. This is Jack Lord. Oh, the tan work, Jack yeah. Lord. Come on, talk, come. bro, come over here. He's a little Jack ticker Lord. these days, yeah, no scared, come on now. It was the poor maid. And so Jack Lord and Don Ho is walking down Kalakaua. So how you been, bro? What kind of poor maid do you use? <laughs> you make your hair straight like that, eh? And they're holding yeah. hands. <laughs> we go back down, Kalakaua. 
<laughs> we can make money like this, trust me, brother. As they're walking down Gala Gala Avenue, midnight in front of the beef and grog, they're talking to each other about his series, Hawaii Five O. Donald talking about the new girl he impregnated. They're walking down. So, so how's your mother doing? Someone walks up to them in the back and does what to them? From the back. What does he do to Don Ho and Jack Lord? Kimo McVeigh. Kimo McVeigh would jam him. Right, London. So, Jack, good to see you. You look good after all these years. My hand's sweaty. Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> He's not sweating. But stop rubbing my finger, ladies, eh? <laughs> Take it easy. And sneaking up on the back of them is Kimo, oh, excuse me, Kimo Lani McVeigh. Hoi, Ene. You guys like one date? No, no, this is Jack Lord. I'm Dan Ho. Who are you? I am who I am. Who I say I am when I say I am. <laughs> but for you too, I give you a special price. Two for a dollar fifty plus the tax, and I'm yours. Let's go. How are we doing? Hang now on. we have a predicament, guy, lady. <laughs> hang on, this guy does chess. Hang on, hang on. You get seventy-five cents, brother. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna match up. We'll be up. Now we have a predicament, ladies and gentlemen. Jack Lord. Don Ho has been approached at 12 a.m. on Gullah Gullah Avenue, coming out of the beef and grog by a working individual. <laughs> Kimo Lani McVeigh, probably from Popokuleo after the operation. <laughs> Don Ho, being a Kamehameha Schools graduate and part Chinese, has offered a grand sum total of 75 cents for her services. I'm going to up them to five bucks. Five bucks. $75, Do I hear seventy-five? $6.50? $6.50 right over there, $7.50. Okay, I take the five. He's taking the five. <laughs> A very angry, angry individual. An angry individual comes walking, screaming up to this trio at 12 a.m. in the morning on Gullah Gullah Kalaakawa Avenue outside of the Beef and Grog when Donna... You are going to die in hell! You are sinners! Both of you! I mean, three of you! Why don't we make and it you, of us and we can... You should be ashamed of yourself, you harlot! That's not what you were saying last night. <laughs> of course, of course, Kimolani McVeigh's boyfriend introduces himself as Mel Smith, the good reverend from the Church of the Lost Possessed. <laughs> Seven! No! Oh. A dice game ensues. Hey, there's only one dice. I think one would stick to your hand. Go check them. You throw them, you throw them. One more time. Throw them again, baby. Yeah. Turn around, brother. Turn around. Come the on, dice Jack. Over play, here. play, play, Jack. When you call me Big Papa. <laughs> <laughs> and as they're throwing dice, and as they're throwing the bones, and as they're making money, someone <laughs> swoops down from the back of a truck from Nanakuli and sweeps onto the quartet doing this. Hi, can I play? <laughs> this is great. Is that a long time? Let's see. No. <laughs> wow, how did Don't Jack let him kiss you, <laughs> brother. No. Stop. No, no. Why are you my idol? <laughs> Stop it! Hang on. Ah, no, no, no. Get him away! Hey, get him Jack, away! No trip! No trip! No Stop trip. tripping, bro! Stop tripping! Uh, Stop it! Can I roll with this oh, guy? Thank you very much. Hey, yeah. Yeah. What's happening over here? We playing dice? What? Who rolling right. now? Who's rolling? Who's rolling? I go. Let me try. It's the info. Wait. Hang on! Hang on! Hang on! Hang on! I want to get. Wait! 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 I don't know if I can throw my dice through there. I got it's fuzzy dice. You like? Wait! I got snake eyes. I can see. Hang on, hang on, let me, let me see that again. Okay. Snake eyes, you see Hang on, hang on. No? Hang on. Where? I remember oh. you. <laughs> long after this. Ladies and gentlemen, Hoggy T, give it up. No. Malcolm Egg. Tony Silva. John Rush. 
Shane. Awesome. I'm in Bar Hill. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Jimmy, James, Peter, this was for you, brother. This was for you. Good night, everybody. Aloha.